Hey guys, Ash Lane here coming at you today, breaking down what I feel is the best Arena 4 deck in the game in Clash Royale. Now obviously every deck you find has a counter or two, but I've been practicing and playtesting a lot of decks specifically for the P.E.K.K.A. Playhouse Arena, Arena 4. Now I played at first with the P.E.K.K.A. card in a lot of decks that I was testing to try to find the best deck. Now how I do this is I actually take these decks into Legendary Arena, see how they play there. If I have success with them, then I play against my clan mates using only the cards from uh, P.E.K.K.A. Playhouse and before that. So that's how I test these decks out. And uh, like I said, I was trying the P.E.K.K.A. in these decks, just couldn't get a great deck with the P.E.K.K.A. using only these cards before that. I think the P.E.K.K.A. is more powerful in later arenas, just my own opinion. So what I'm doing is playing the minions in the minion horde along with the hog in the hidden Tesla from the uh, arena four along with other cards you can see here the deck i also have the bomber in the deck for some splash damage the arrows and barbarians and the free spell of course from arena four i love this deck we're going to review three replays today uh two against clan mates so that the level of the cards are standardized and then one against a level 10 out in the wild in matchmaking. So we're going to discuss the strengths of this deck and why I love it so much as we cover these three replays. So we're going to start here by placing a bomber. Now obviously you don't have the elixir collector. That's part of the reason why I like the P.E.K.K.A. better in decks in later arenas. Because with an expensive card like the P.E.K.K.A. or the uh, the Golem, I, I prefer having a little bit of a uh, an elixir recoup ability with the collector. So the idea behind this deck is you have a lot of defensive flexibility, right? You have the minions and the minion horde can pretty much defend against anything. And you have the distracting unit right here here in the uh, the hidden Tesla. So when playing the hidden Tesla, nine times out of 10, you're going to play it right there or one square above that. That's going to be the perfect distracting spot for the hidden Tesla to distract units, defensive targeting units, especially in either of the lanes. So that's a perfect usage of the hidden Tesla. That's why it's one of the most important cards in your deck. Now, offensively speaking, this deck is built around the hog freeze combination, a very, very effective combination but the thing is you don't necessarily want to bust out the hog freeze right off the bat it's kind of cool if you can use this combination when you really know it's going to be effective and you can take your opponent by surprise so right here didn't use the freeze spell because he was countering my hog with the skeleton army so it's always important to play things safe and only bust out your big magical card in this case it would be the freeze spell when you are ready when you know your opponent is low on elixir so this build this deck is built around using the hog and the free spell to chip away at a tower or totally take down a tower in the meantime it can defend against absolutely anything you'll see against a level 10 even playing the princess card playing the the uh, the, the frost wizard uh, playing a lot of legendary cards and in epic cards you can still hold your own and win and I'll show you how so here odd is gonna actually use a rocket against my right tower so I knew he was low on elixir I'm gonna capitalize on that by finally dropping my freeze spell and you can see I was able to freeze his uh, baby P.E.K.K.A. there and I was able to take down his left tower. That's why this deck is so effective. You can play a lot of defense and then when the timing is right you can use your barbarians and your hog to get a nice push going in either of the lanes. Now I knew he had the fireball but I decided to test with the minion horde there to see if it was up. It was up but I was able to sneak in a hog again in the right hand lane so now I'm chipping away at that right tower but it's not going to really matter as I, I pretty much secured the victory by this point. The Barbarians are a great card in this deck as well. I would not substitute out the Barbarians, and I love having the Minions and the Minion Horde in the same deck. So try this out, guys. I'm pretty confident that it is one of the best combinations, especially when you learn how to use it. Here is a two crown uh, to one victory. We'll go ahead and play another a match against Oddjob. On this second match, he actually switched up his deck. I kept the same deck, and he's now playing a couple defensive units. He has the uh, the the uh, Inferno Tower as well as the Cannon there. So you're going to see how versatile this attack this deck is. Part of the reason why I say I love it so much for Arena Four for Pekka Playhouse. So you're going to see again here my starting hand. I don't have the Hog. I'm going to play the Barbarians. When you play the Barbarians to start 
are a match, it's always a good idea in my opinion to place them right smack dab in the center there below your king tower. And then they split up and that leaves Oddjaw having to guess which direction to defend from. It allows me as the attacker or the defender to pick my lane and play from a position of power and I still have an, a lot of elixir because I played it so early on. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to sneak that hog in there in the right hand lane. You can see Oddjob's hand. He has absolutely nothing to counter this hog with at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep taking hits on that right tower. Now even when he plays a, an inferno tower or a cannon, it's, not, it's important not to panic. You can always play your hidden Tesla card if you don't know what else to play uh, for the time being. So it allows you to use some elixir and then recoup and just kind of reload and get a good hand ready to play. So at this point, I'm going to play the Barbarians again. This time, I'm not going to split them up. Rather, I'm going to target that right hand lane because I've already chipped away at that tower. I want to add on to it at this point. So what am I going to do now? I think I'm going to play. I'm almost full elixir, you can see. So I'm going to play minions and bomber. Having that splash damage is really important there. So I'm going to be able to take down that hidden, uh, not hidden Tesla, the Inferno Tower there. I'm going to use the, uh, the arrows as soon as I see that minion horde and then boom take down the tower you can see the uh, I had one barbarians left standing I had the my my hog obviously left standing and the bomber and they do a lot of damage when you can get the bomber and the hog and even one or two barbarians on a tower you're gonna take that tower down unless they have a really quick counter like a fireball or uh, or maybe air not even arrows fireball would be really the only card that could counter that uh, in arena four so even if they do have a fireball though you'll still be hopefully at an elixir advantage and able to recoup. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the barbarians here. Uh, he had. I'm, I'm kind of going for the crown tower at this point, for the king tower, trying to go for three crowns. But I'm not gonna be able to pull it off here. But either way, I'm still gonna get the win, and that's all that really matters. So I'm gonna go ahead here. I'm ready with the arrows against the minion horde, but I don't think I really need it. Instead, I'm gonna play a minion horde of my own. And there's only 20 seconds left over here. So at this point, I've kind of resigned myself to playing a little bit of defense. Still want to make sure you poke and prod a little bit offensively keep them on their toes you don't want to see a comeback and any that, that, that applies to any arena that you're in doesn't matter if it's uh arena uh, two three four or or seven so don't uh don't never never want to go too much defensively but when you have the one tower lead and there's not a lot of damage on your towers make sure you focus mainly on on defense and then like i said drop a hog every now and then just make sure you secure the victory that's the most important thing so now guys i said i would go on and show the uh, the regular the regular attack here in the legendary arena. I'm playing a touchdown here, and he's level 10. I'm level 10. Our cards are relatively the same uh, same level. But remember, I'm playing with an arena four deck here. In below, he has the uh, the dark prince. He has the Pekka. Well, I have the Pekka too. But like I said, he does have his legendary cards as well. He has the elixir collector. So theoretically, I should be at a pretty big disadvantage here, and he has pretty high level cards. So. So what am I going to do? I'm not going to panic. I'm going to play things defensively. I want to make sure I let the battle come to me. And then I'll go ahead and transition good defenses into an offense using that free spell as needed, uh, especially in combination with my hog. That's the whole idea here on offense. You want to really get the bang for your buck out of that hog and the free spell. But like I said earlier, you don't want to use it just willy-nilly right off the bat. You want to make sure you use it at the perfect opportune time. So now I have my hog going on that left-hand tower. He has to play his princess card, and the princess isn't going to do a heck of a lot of damage against that hog. So I'm going to get a decent amount of damage off that left tower. Now, I know he has legendary cards. I know he has a, a pretty good deck. So at this point, and I know he's over 3,000 cups, so he's a pretty good player. So I, I, at this point, I'm resigned in my head. And you should do this when you know you're the underdog, even though I'm not technically the underdog level-wise. What you should do is you should try to play for the one tower win one tower victory you don't need to try to three star you don't need to try to be super aggressive here he just uses arrows so i'm going to play my minion horde i know his arrows aren't up so the minion horde is going to easily take down that pekka not a big deal now at this point i'm not going to play anything against that frost wizard because guess what it's only going to take two shots from my tower to, to to kill him so you always want to be smart with your elixir that's obviously another key that applies to no matter what arena you're in 
So again here, I'm gonna sit back, let the battle come to me. He plays the Elixir Collector. I know I'm gonna be at a little disadvantage now. I play the Tesla, and then I try to sneak that Hog in there. Now, I have a freeze of my own, so I'm gonna freeze his Dark Prince in his tower, allowing my Hog to get hopefully one or two shots in there. Again, just chipping away at that tower. So he gets two hits in, pretty good there. I'm gonna play a Bomber on defense, and now I'm gonna have to play a Minion Horde again. He does have arrows up, but not quickly enough on the Elixir Recoup. So I'm able to take down his P.E.K.K.A. there And now he only has the Dark Prince against my Barbarian Not the end of the world I have a lot of Elixir at this point So check me out compared to him He has no Elixir, I have a lot I know if I can just pull off a successful defense here Against this Frost Wizard and the Princess Then I can turn this into a good offense on the left hand lane So another Dark Prince comes at me I know he's low on Elixir at this point I have my Hog at that tower I have my Freeze Spell ready I froze the, the tower and the Mini P.E.K.K.A. He says well played I say thank you or do I not? Uh, yes, I do. And I pull off the victory. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this deck. I'll go ahead and go to the card selection screen. So, if you guys want to copy it, if you're just getting to Arena 4 and you don't have the free spell yet, you can go ahead and put in just a uh, an air-targeting ground troop. So, Spear Goblins or Archers until you get that spell or Rage spell if you have it. And you should be pretty good. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Good luck. And, as always, take care.